Hi guys, I'm Dr. Sandeep, your surgery guy. Today I'm here to talk about our residency explorer series. I'll be talking about general surgery as a branch. I'll share my experiences and whatever I could gather information for your own health, right? So let's let's start with a very basic question that how does everything come into one frame, right? How does it start? So the first question is, why should I choose general surgery as my speciality? That's a question that I cannot answer, that you have to have it for yourself. Uh, it's a very famous saying uh, in the surgery department that goes on that it is the branch, that is general surgery itself chooses you. You don't get to choose it. It's, it's that draws you, right? When you start doing your wards, when you go to your casualty, when you go to your OT, that love for surgery just draws you in. So wait for that calling. Now, if that comes, your first thing is sorted. That means you know what to do. So that's purely on the basis of heart. Now, the question number two is, see, if you ask me why should I choose it, that has to be a calling. But if you have decided, then I can tell you that how do I choose it, right? Why ka mere paas answer nahi hai, lekin how do I choose it, I can give you an answer, right? First, there are two kinds of people uh, in every form of life that you have. Uh, in terms of in medicine itself, I'll say there are two, two set of people that exist. One who are detective in nature where they want to find out for curious answers. And one, those who are doers, right? We call it as the action guys. Or we can say the guys who want to jump in and see what's happening. They can't wait for, you know, clues. They don't have that patience. So you have to assign yourself. Are you that patient detective kind of a guy or you believe in action? See, I, I, I have a very simple way of asking myself. Can I sit? and do the work for the rest of my life or do I want to have some amount of adrenal rush? There are people who draw the adrenal rush from different aspects. But this is also that some people enjoy sitting and thinking about it. Some people believe that you have to do it. Okay? So if you, form, you if you are in that form, you can decide. If you are in detective form, this is not the branch for you. Second, the people who love to stay static, you know, aram se baith ke, AC wala kamera hona chahiye, you know, you should have all that luxuries, uh, you should have people around you, then medical branches are, are better for you. But because in, in surgery it is hardship, you have to run, you have to stand. If you're doing a whipples, it goes for six to seven hours. If you're assisting any CTVS case, it goes for eight to ten hours. You're going for a transplant, it's even more longer. So, wo hard work, jo hai, physical labor, wo surgery mein lagega, right? So you see, are you oriented for physical labor or not? And it's it's not, you need strength, it's the mental strength. Will you be able to take that long hours of attention, you know, that concentration? That's how you decide whether you're going to be a static or a dynamic status. What is the hard truth? Once you join residency, you know, uh, apna MBBS ka pyaar hoga, hai? You, you get into residency, to pehle kya residency hote, shadi kar lete, hai na? Uh, don't do that. But the, the three years of residency are going to be extremely crucial because that is where your fine skills will start developing. That is where you start analyzing and there's no scope for distraction. It, I'm not saying, you know, uh, marriage is a distraction or, or, or having a partner is a distraction. But, you know, you get divided. You need focus. At least for first three years, focus the way to be single. Second, Teen saal ka investment nahi hai general surgery mein, six years ka investment hai. Because three years of general surgery, you have to either sub-specialize, log super speciality bolte it is called a sub-specialization. That means what are the sub-specialities you have? Starting from top, you have neurosurgery, then you have cardiothoracic, abhi aage chal ke it is separated now, cardiac surgery is separated, vascular is separated, thoracic is separate. So teen branch wahi pe ho gaya. So you have cardiac surgery, vascular surgery and thoracic surgery. Then you have GI surgery, okay? Then GI is urology, aata hai. urology is plastic, hai. plastic ke baad, uh, if, if you are uh, keen about it, onco surgery is another beautiful branch that you have. So you have, you know, now there are 8 subspecialties, okay? With this, your fellowship in minimal access surgeries, there is MCH of minimal access, that is super specialization in Ames New Delhi. There is uh, MCH minimal access surgery, but again, you know, uh, somehow you need to subspecialize. So your investment hai, it is not going to be for three years. Make that point. Surgery is a branch where you have to develop both soft as well as hard skills. Soft, baat karne ka tarika, patient ko convince karne ka tarika, uh, your ability to impart confidence on the patient is also equally important. So that matters a lot. So that you have to learn. Hard skills is, is your technical skills. No, you, you need to know how to suture, you need to know how to hold your instruments, uh, you need to know how can you work. There, there, there are different stations of work. You have lap where you are holding the instruments, you have robotic console where you are sitting and holding the instruments and you are trying to operate. They are different. Your endovascular procedures, there are minimal access procedures, so there are a lot of things. 
सो हार्ड स्किल्स सीखना पड़ेगा एंड बोथ सॉफ्ट एंड हार्ड स्किल्स हैज टू गो हार्ड एंड हार्ड द कर्व ऑफ लर्निंग इज लॉन्गर मेडिसिन में मैं ये नहीं बोल रहा कि लॉन्गर नहीं है लेकिन मेडिसिन में क्या वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोटोकॉल वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट टू बी डन इन अ शॉर्ट स्पैन यू स्टार्ट पेकिंग इट अप एंड फ्रॉम देयर यू यू नो कीप एडिंग एंड इम्प्रोवाइजिंग योर डायग्नोस्टिक स्किल्स सर्जरी में क्या है मुझे पता है क्या करना है मुझे पता है कि हाउ टू डू इट बट द पॉइंट इज वन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग इट नो दैट फिनिश ऑफ डूइंग यू नो सर्जरी इज लाइक एन आर्ट यू कैन नेवर गेट द परफेक्ट वन आप जब भी यू आस्क एनी आर्टिस्ट इफ आई इज ड्रॉन समथिंग नो ही वुड से इससे बेटर मैं आगे बना सकता हूँ ये मेरा बेस्ट वर्क नहीं है एंड दैट्स हाउ यू फील इन सर्जरी दिस इज नॉट इनफ राइट यू वुड लाइक टू डू बेटर देन यू विल हैव कॉम्प्लिकेशन यू हैव टू कम अप विद कॉम्प्लिकेशन यू हैव टू फेस कॉम्प्लिकेशन तो सर्जरी बींग एन इन्वेसिव ब्रांच इट टेक्स अ लॉन्गर टाइम फॉर यू टू मास्टर दैट अमाउंट ऑफ स्किल वन थिंग दैट इज वेरी नेग्लेक्टेड इज योर सपोर्ट सिस्टम इफ यू आर गेटिंग मैरिड यू नीड अ गुड सपोर्ट सिस्टम दैट मीन्स द स्पाउस फैमिली योर फैमिली शुड बी देयर अराउंड द क्लॉक टू बी हेल्पिंग यू इफ यू हैव अ बेबी एंड ऑल यू नीड अ गुड एनवायरमेंट एट होम बिकॉज एट कमिंग बैक होम यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी बेस्टेड ऑन बिकॉज यू ऑलरेडी बीन बम्बार्ड इन द हॉस्पिटल सो अ गुड सपोर्ट सिस्टम इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो दीज आर द नाटशियल इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ हाउ डू आई चूज अ ब्रांच एक और बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट बात है इट्स अबाउट द मार्केट एनालिसिस राइट इट साउंड वेरी वी आर डॉक्टर टॉकिंग अबाउट मार्केट एनालिसिस बट एट द एंड यू हैव टू कम एंड वर्क राइट सो यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वे यू गोइंग टू वर्क इट्स ऑलवेज डिमांड एंड सप्लाई वेर एवज द डिमांड इज हाई सप्लाई इज लो यू विल ऑलवेज बी यू नो मेकिंग द मोस्ट ऑफ द अपॉर्चुनिटी बट वेर यू हैव लिटिल डिमांड एंड अ वेरी ह्यूज सप्लाई देन इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट सो चूज अ ब्रांच लेट से in your city or in your town you see how many general surgeons are there right and you see how many sub specialists are there and then you see what is the load work that is going into and then decide is it a good branch for me because let's say you have you you're working in a place where your you know majority of the people are surgeons only right they're doing general surgery only so you need to make up your mind you have to do minimal access also right so that you stand out in the crowd you have to do it unfortunately that's how it is right you need to follow the passion i'm not against it but at the same time you need to make logical decisions uh, life mein na uh, as you continue to move forward there are two things you need to understand ki ek wo hai jo aapko acha lagta hai aur ek wo hai jo sahi hai theek hai jis din aap wo karoge jo sahi hai rather than wo jo acha lagta hai na that is where you have gained maturity that phase of life shifts फ्रॉम वो जो अच्छा लगता है और वो जो सही है इन दोनों के बीच की जर्नी तय करनी पड़ेगी यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू स्विच मेकिंग करेक्ट डिसीजन ठीक है तो ये तो हो गया जी आप ब्रांच कैसे चूज करोगे देन वॉट डू यू एक्सपेक्ट इन रेजिडेंसी राइट वेन यू ज्वाइन अ सर्जिकल रेजिडेंट वंस ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू गेट अ गुड डिसेंट रैंक आज के डेट में थोड़ा सर्जिकल जो ट्रेंड है इट इज गोइंग डाउन लाइक दिट दी दी टॉप हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड रैंकर्स आर टेकिंग मोर इन टू मेडिकल एंड रेडियोलॉजी ब्रांचेस डॉमेटोलॉजी एंड देन दी सर्जरी इज फिलिंग अप इन आर टाइम दी सर्जरी वॉज मच मोर हायर नाउ दी कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज एक तो अभी अराउंड नीट में इफ यू से सेवन टू एट थाउजेंड यू गेट अ गुड डिसेंट कॉलेज गवर्नमेंट सेटअप एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सो दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग योर सेल्फ Uh, what do you expect in residency let's say i'll split them into first year second year and final year first year mein as soon as you enter don't expect you know you'll be shown red carpet you'll be opening ot doors you'll be operating no first year is all about learning discipline surgery is a disciplined the whole branch itself runs on that it's it's on trust right uh, before anybody could trust you that means if you are saying ki sir the patient had these these symptoms or these these are the presentations or these are the findings how do i trust you in the first place so you have to gain the, it's it's all about trust you build you make yourself available and you show that trustworthiness so that your senior trusts you and when that bond forms trust me the bond in surgery is the you know the strongest and the longest one once you have a good mentor no and that mentor trusts you and you do so for him it's going to be a very strong bond the first year is all about trusting first year you don't need to read you don't have time to read you will have maximum two op days that is on rotation and one single op per week you'll have two ot days so your three days are gone the other four days will be your ward days ward will have lot of work you have regular dressings you have discharge your discharge summaries uh, you have to see if any patient requires any other assistance all that will be done in your next four days it is going to be a lot of a journey so all your seven days are going to be occupied sundays if you are not having your rotation day uh sunday will be a day where you might get a half day off where you can come and sleep and you know to get some rest but most of the days are going to be busy you will be spending 14 to 15 hours in your wards and in the hospital 
casualty nights you will have that duty night we call it as you will stay 24 hours in the hospital that extends to next day evening so it is like roughly about 36 38 hours you will spend and then you go this will be your first year journey second year will become a bit more easier you will have a first year junior who will take up the work you will share a bit of work with him but at the same time you will have some time to read as well Second year is the point where you will get your specialty postings, which you call a subspecialty. You'll go into neurosurgery, cardiovascular, you GI mostly general surgery do it. So you will not have a specific GI posting, but you will have uh, head and neck postings, surgical onco that is predominantly done. Uh, urology postings will be there. Plastic and trauma go in hand in hand. You will not have a specific posting usually. So these are the places you'll be investing in second year. Finally, again, you know, be a good leader. You'll start to learn how to manage, how to delegate work how to you know make sure your juniors train well uh, you will operate at the same time you will enhance your skills you will start reading that's the time you start reading for your super speciality that is your neat ss or inict ss exam that is a super speciality exam that is the time you also focus on other aspects also right for example those who wants to do mrcs second year and final year is a good time dhs is also final year is a good time uh, that's for dubai health uh, services that you can go uh, these are the DHS Association, that is Dubai Health Association. You can uh, apply for that as well. So these are the other options uh, that you have. Start preparing in final year and the exam would be done. And you would graduate out from there. The problem is, what do you do next? You need to have a clear mindset that are you going to do a super speciality or not? If you're doing so, from thereafter, make sure, don't take much of a break. As soon as you finish your MS, switch, write your SS, get a seat and then start into whatever branch. How do you know which branch to do? That you will discover during your general surgery. That is where your calling will be. Few people love plastic, few will be loving urology, few will like GIT, uh, again, onco surgery. But there are a lot of things that you have to analyze there also. When you come down to there, we'll talk in more detail at that particular point. But these are the aspects that you have to consider. Then you will subspecialize into the following components, right? Now, the standard earnings uh, right now in terms of residency is, if, if you talk about a siphon, it's anywhere between 40,000 to 1 lakh rupees. Uh, Delhi end, it is more, uh, but most of the colleges around India pay you 40, 50,000 rupees siphon per month. Post your uh, MS or DNB that you have done in general surgery, uh, we call it a senior resident uh, or a registrar in your private hospitals. The average salary varies anywhere between 80,000 to 1 lakh 10,000 in peripheries and other places. Delhi, it will be slightly higher. You'll get 1.5 to 2 lakhs. That's the range for SR, right? So that is in terms of senior residency. And from thereafter, as you continue to upgrade yourself, as you continue to learn, you'll become more and more experienced. Yes. The earning for a surgeon comes later in life. It's slightly onto the other end. But once you start making, you'll have a very decent life, right? Uh, one last message before I conclude uh, my discussion on the Residency Explorer series. If you are taking surgery, I don't want to tell, you know, that's important. But it is more for a skill loving person. It's more who wants to immerse in the art of surgery to wo jo mehnat hai na wo art ko improvise aur enhance karne ke liye lagegi theek hai that's a famous saying no log kamate hain aap chhapoge theek hai that day will come right until then trust your instincts trust your skill work hard and that's all you require to be a good surgeon thank you guys